All right guys, what is going on? Here with a quick video. Uh, if you remember my diesel heater videos from last year, I did a custom diesel he a heater uh, with you know upgraded filters and lines and everything. We have a new one and we're gonna unbox it now. We're gonna take a look at it, see if there's improvements. Uh, the, the one that I built was okay, but it was kind of bulky. Uh, it wasn't Bluetooth uh, and it had um, some other small issues just kind of packing it up and you know dealing with fuel lines and stuff so let's take a look and uh, it's starting to get cold uh, so I, I thought maybe we would just order this new heater to take a look at and uh, we'll start testing this one to see if this is something you guys might want to consider uh, for the price of about 250 dollars so these are really really good value units uh, that will save you some money uh, from the typical overland diesel heaters that are out there on the market that are ranging from like you know, 400 all the way up to $1,200. So let's go ahead and start unboxing. All right, so let's open this up. I'm kind of curious, because this one is Bluetooth as well. I'm not gonna show the Bluetooth app in this one just yet. All right, so let's take a look. So it looks like this one is pretty packaged pretty well. Uh, so if you're, you're used to normal, like, Chinese diesel heaters, they're not packaged usually very well. They've got a lot of different things. Um, this is a nice, here's a power brick. So they include power bricks now um, with the diesel heater. So you, that's interesting. This is a really thick cable, but these lines that are coming out are kind of thin. These looks like, this looks like four gauge? No, eight gauge. This looks like eight gauge wire. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's not a heavy power brick, but yes, it is still a power brick. Your standard 110 outlet um, setup. Instruction book. Uh, I, I gotta say, uh, they've definitely improved their documentation. Uh, it's got multiple different languages. Usually when you order a Chinese diesel heater, you got something that didn't really translate well to English. Um, so let's go ahead and unbox this and pull this out. There's another box in there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this unit. Overall, so far, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, the size and the weight isn't too bad. Now, if you take a look, it looks just, it looks like a small little tool chest. This is really interesting. It's got legs, little legs. It's got legs. Let's start with the top. Um, some tool chests have this little cover, this little flap. Let's see if I can get this out. This is the controller. I like where the controller is. There's no, there's no screws that hold this down, so I think I'm gonna keep this in there. So there's the Bluetooth controller. It's definitely not like the old school one. Um, it's pretty nice. Now, this is gonna be the first part of this video where we're just kinda taking a quick look at it. I'm gonna power it up later in the week when it's colder. We're gonna see uh, you know, how it functions and we're going to test it even more. Looks like this is a... Remote? Huh? Is it a remote? Yeah, this looks like a remote. Pretty nice little remote. Nice little tactile buttons. Little glossy piano black finish. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so let's take a look at the bottom of this unit. So if we look here... One of the big changes, you can see the, the previous units would come with an intake that you had to set up and it had the exhaust. Now, what's really cool is the exhaust is elevated off the ground. So you no longer have to prop it up on some rocks or build some sort of stand. You could pretty much have this on your tailgate and route the piping that it comes with um, off to the side of the truck. So if we look at the side here, you've got the intake. This is, I think this is metal. Yeah, this is metal. So on my diesel heater build, I built an intake port to, to pull in the, the hot air from the tent. Looks like I am gonna have to maybe modify this, drill two holes, mount an intake port. And uh, if you look over on this side, you've got the exhaust port. Now, if you look over here, this is really cool. I didn't know this. Hmm. It's actually got a diesel fuel, fuel gauge. Uh, right off the uh, the fuel tank that's inside there. So this is your heat outlet. This is what's gonna go inside your tent. Let's go ahead and open up the unit. All right, so we're gonna flashlight. If you point the flashlight down there, 
it looks like they're no longer using those clear like aquarium tubing. Looks like they're actually using fuel lines now, which is really nice. I can't really see out down there too well without taking the, the fuel canister out. The, uh, the diesel heaters would come with a lot of excess tubing. That doesn't seem the case anymore. So this is really nice. I'm gonna maybe take this apart later and then take the tank out. The tank looks larger as well. And the cool thing about this is it seems like if you wanna point the camera in there, the pickup line, there you go. Looks like they have a nice fitting in there. Overall, looks like they've made some really, really good improvements from the standard type of diesel heater that you would find for like a workshop, like the Vivor type units. Just wanna say, this is not a sponsored video. I, I did buy this myself uh, for us. Um, I'm gonna be testing it. Overall, the size though, I would say it's about a foot and a half wide, foot tall, maybe a little less. Closes up. Nice little compact unit, not a lot of parts. Um, I think there was one box here. Let's take a look, see what it comes with. Look at your hand. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it looks like it comes with a standard muffler. Muffler looks the same. Put on the uh, Fiesta. Yeah. Okay, so it comes with some sort of a different type of plug if you want to hook this up to a battery, I think. Um, and then your standard exhaust tubing. So pretty standard stuff. Overall, though, I so far, I give this a 9 out of 10. Uh, this is already more compact than the diesel heater unit that I built with like a, I can't remember. It was their standard briefcase type box, and then I attached the Rotopax to it. I don't think we're going to need to add a Rotopax to this just because I think... The thing that you gotta remember with diesel heater units with the new type of controllers, they use like a fuel mapping just like cars do. So I think it's gonna be way more efficient than the, the old diesel heaters. So honestly, the only thing I wish they would have maybe included was maybe something to keep this from snapping all the way back. But I mean, you could modify that yourself. But overall, this looks like a really nice compact unit that you can just toss in the back of your truck um, without having to worry about fuel spillage. You can see how much gas is in there or how much diesel is in there. We're going to test this unit in the coming weeks. Um, if you have any questions, leave it a question or if you have any questions, leave a comment below and uh, we'll definitely get it tested out. Thanks guys. Bye.